Dormouse 03, continuing my Mass Effect 3 Insanity walkthrough. And this is part 3, the last part of the mission Priority Geth Dreadnought. And so we just finished up uh, from the last video with uh, the section with <laughs> all the shockwaves. And uh, I really just didn't like that section very much. But we got through it, and that is all that matters. So now we're going to be going on to the last uh, section of this mission and the last bit of combat here uh, with some Geth Primes, which does get a little tricky. And um, I kept this little cutscene in here because I, I, I like um, I like the comment that Tally makes as she uh, saves you from falling down this elevator shaft after the Geth knock it off. Um, I like her comment right. that she's going to say right here. Hopefully we're done with elevators. Hopefully we're done with elevators. <laughs> and um, that, uh, I'm pretty sure, is is thrown in there as a, a little joke to the people who who played the first game. And, um, and they had a, n a nice little joke with Tali and Garrus in the second game about the elevator rides and how long they were in the first game. And... I think it's nice when, when people are able to make fun of themselves, uh, to laugh at yourself, I think, is a, is a good thing. So, um, and definitely to uh, to put that in there for fans of the first game, I thought was cool. So, here we will go on to this last part. I trim out a little cutscene there. And th this is where uh, we meet back up with our, our old friend Legion who I, I just can't say enough about how much I really love his character. Um, Bioware have created some really great characters in this in this series, and, uh, and Legion is one of my favorites. So I was really happy to see him again and to, and to work with him and, and hear him say Shepherd Commander uh, a bunch of times. So <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Um, because I think he's just, he's just freaking awesome. So we're going to go over here, try to see if there's any stuff to pick up, but I don't think there's too much. I love those little slides, by the way. Um, the mobility is, is much better in this game. Yeah, you feel, it feels much better to me anyway. So then you push that button, you have another little cutscene that I trimmed out, I think, and uh, and now you're fighting some more, some more Geth, and there are a couple of primes in the background, and I, I found that this cover that you start out on after you come out of that cutscene worked pretty well because it blocked a lot. <laughs> it blocked a lot of stuff from that sort of right side, that right angle, um, that it looks like it might not <laughs> it shouldn't <laughs> be able to block, but it does. Uh, it does pretty effectively. So, like that, I took basically no damage from that rocket <laughs> right there. And um, and it seemed like I probably should have taken a lot more, but uh, the cover just worked. So I, I stuck right here. And I just continued to take out the Geth the same way we've been doing the whole mission. Uh, use a bunch of tech abilities, overload them as much as I can, um, and and shoot them. And so there's a, a prime still around here, and sometimes it's kind of hard to see where, where stuff is in this area, so kind of tentatively move over, and then up, oh, there's the prime, and... So now you've got got some more things to take out. So just hunker down, take some cover, and um, <laughs> I have a little drift <laughs> on my left stick. So sometimes I'll, I'll slide back and forth through cover, and that's not really. Sometimes I'm doing it to try to recharge my shield, but other times it's because I have that drift on my stick, and it just it just slides my character around a little bit. Um, so. Perhaps should invest in a in a new controller, but as long as this one works, probably gonna keep it. 
So once you take the shields down off of that prime, um, if you have biotics, I uh, use warp and throw and get those biotic detonations. The one annoying thing about the primes are that they, they keep putting out those combat drones, which a lot of times block uh, the <laughs> when I'm trying to throw uh, a biotic at at the prime that the drone will catch it instead because I'm trying to sort of pop out and, and hit it really quickly but um, <laughs> it works for the most part just just warp their armor and then uh, and throw to make a, a biotic explosion so there are a few more guys here and there's not <laughs> a lot of ammo in this area so I, I had to switch to my, my paladin, which is okay, because I like it. Nice little sidearm here. And if you run low on bullets, especially uh, with these guys, if you have those tech abilities, just try to use them as much as you can. And that's what I do right here, is I know that I'm kind of low on ammo. I know that... I don't want to be running around this area too much because they're just, they put up the, the geth turrets um, in various places. They have those combat drones. There's another prime lingering around here uh, that we'll get to in just a second. And uh, I don't want to be moving around trying to find ammo. So I try to make as good a use of, of my tech uh, abilities and my squad mates abilities as possible. And right there I was like, oh no, I don't want to go... <laughs> that far out uh, into those dudes so I back off and, and come back to take them out because those hunters can they can they can get right up your ass really quickly and no one wants uh, a geth hunter up their ass it's just not not fun so I was able to pick up a little bit of ammo here and I have sp now spotted that uh, second prime and taken out most of the other enemies around him. So I will try to take down his shields. Make sure that Tali's doing her energy drain um, as much as possible. Just to take that stuff down as quickly as you can. And now that he's down to armor, I'm going to warp and, warp and throw him. Uh, and effectively turn him into a, a pile of circuits and wires on the floor. So that is that. He is done. And you can go and, and reunite uh, with Legion and make the the run to get off of the ship because now the uh the quarians have have found that you've deactivated the uh, the reaper code from a bunch of the the geth uh ships and this this dreadnought here and they want to blow it up uh to take out their enemies which makes sense um <laughs> but why uh they can't wait a few seconds for for me to uh <laughs> get a little farther ways off the ship I'm not quite sure. Uh, they, you'd think that you'd want to keep your allies alive, especially an ally as strong as Shepard. And you know, one of your admirals is also on this ship, so you know why they are uh, thinking that they really just need to to blow it up, even if we get caught in the crossfire. I I don't know, but it makes it kind of dramatic and, and exciting to to get off of this ship because things are blowing up there's no enemies here you're just trying to make your way off of the ship so um, it's basically kind of an interactive cutscene <laughs> where you are running through the ship uh, getting caught in a couple of explosions and you're gonna run over here where Legion has um, has gotten one of the the guest ships for you to use so Poor Shepard. She's got to have some concussions. I mean, Doc Chakwas must just have to be assessing her for concussions all the time. <laughs> From all these explosions and falls and things that she takes. But here we go. We made it to the end. Legion's going to just 
sort of casually reach out here and grab Dolly. <laughs> Uh, while I hang on for dear, dear life, and we are going to get off this ship. So you are uh, now finished with this mission, and uh, and we can move on to the next sections with the guests. So thanks for watching. Hope this uh, helped any way that it could, and I will see you in the next video.